So you know, it's at this moment, 24 hours out, that I start to question, you know, why am I doing this? Is it ego? Is it truly something for the planet? Is it just the wildest adventure I could, that an adrenaline junkie could dream up? There's probably some truth to all that. And it's funny because it, it would not be easy to, to back out now, not after two years and so many promises and you know so much uh, support that's been accepted. I don't know, I just I feel like I'm just about to take the biggest chance of my life. It is certainly the riskiest flight I've ever made with more opportunities for failure than I've ever experienced. Seven weeks ago, I started in San Diego, California, en route to the South Pole and the North Pole for a five-month global aviation expedition. Along the way, I'm exploring many nations and discovering more about what it truly means to be a citizen of the world. They call me Zen Pilot. I guess what that means is while I seek out adventure from 37,000 feet up, I also seek a balance to share what I've learned as an aviator and to learn from others across the planet their lessons and wisdom of a life well lived. I'm seeing the similarities, not the differences among the people I'm meeting. My inspiration has been the support that other people have given me, their belief in me, my mission, and my team. This allows me to take myself and the plane to its absolute and total limits. I ask myself, is failure even possible with this much love and support behind me? I'm conducting newly created experiments in collaboration with NASA and the Scripps Institute of Oceanography. I'm testing for atmospheric plastic pollutions and utilizing only biofuels at the poles. Finally made it to Patagonia and probably about a quarter of the way through the trip uh, with the longest, hardest uh, leg ahead of me to the South Pole. I don't know, it's like that leap of faith that you make. For anybody who's ever jumped out of a plane, you know, parachuting, you have that last instant where you go, do I stay or do I go? And uh, this is just one of those moments where I, I feel like, you know, I've lived a good life and if it ends here, then I, I was doing something that I was passionate about that had a great impact on the planet. And even in failure, there's success because you've tried. And I don't think the, the successes I've had in my life that have gotten me to this moment in time were all so that I would just fail. Yeah, I, I know I'm going through with it. We'll see how it turns out. But, you know, I, I'm in that moment of fear where, where I'm questioning everything. But I know at some point, if I go deep enough into that feeling, then it goes away. It's like, if you're not afraid, your dream wasn't big enough. And if you're not afraid, then you probably haven't prepared enough because of the risk that's ahead. And situations like this, people respond in one of two ways. They either freeze or they just move ahead. And I think I've had my moment of panic and self-doubt, fear, and now it's just time to get this done. 290 Golf Alpha, turn right heading 100 degrees. Right, 100, 290 Golf Alpha. And request your current heading. Uh, current heading is uh, 180 true, the South Pole, 